On to the final part of fucking Skateland on GBA. We're doing classic mode, which is all the levels we've gone through so far, except now we're dealing with high scores, pro scores, sick scores, the pro combos and the sick combos, the skate letters, the combo letters, and the tape. And that's it. There's no unique goals here. There's no like, oh, do this thing around here. Much like what happened with how basic and shit Classic Mode became in, you know, American Wasteland, Classic Mode here is also just basic bitch shit. And doesn't even have anything that you can, you know, look at and say, oh, that's unique. Nah, it, it's just, it's literally just like five goals or scores, the combo layers, the skate layers, and the tape. That's it. So, Really, the only challenge here is getting the combo letters and maybe the skate letters and the tape. But other than that, even the score, you can potentially say there's a bit of a challenge in getting the score here, especially for two minutes for every one of these. But because of how honestly broken the trick system is in this game and how easy it is to abuse it, it's not really that hard when you realize that you can easily, you know, beat the shit out of these scores just by simply doing fucking manuals and burp slides and shit. Like, there's really not much challenge in this at all. And Coho's here is our first level that showcases just how easy this shit is because this place is a fucking box and I get everything done on my first go. So. Yeah, that's the box. There's nothing else here to really note on. And also, high score, you know, there's no high score leaderboard as far as I can find. So the whole high score thing just exists. It's a system that was there from the other GBA games, but there's no leaderboard to speak of. So I don't really know what the high scores are for each one of these. They're probably nothing, honestly. They're probably all blank slates. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much all of Coho's. Now, of course, I will begin jump cutting about because some of these levels are pretty big, and unfortunately because of that, some of these, like the combo letters and the skate letters, basically just the combo letters and skate letters, those are the reasons why I'm not being able to really complete any levels, like all these levels, like on one run. In fact, looking at it from right now, looking at it from how I've experienced this, I don't even think it's possible to like 100% all the goals in one fucking go. You know? Because in this level, for instance, we have to go get the tape, which is up on top of a rooftop. And because that rooftop, you usually have to, you know, go to the very top slope where the Hollywood sign is and then transfer down to where the Chinese uh, temple is, and then you get the tape from there. However, what's also there is the combo letters, which we have to grind down from the very entrance we use, and then going through and use the ramp up here to get the M, and then, you know, how to maneuver around with the manual bit in order to get the B and the O. The start of this is awkward as fuck, and then it only gets worse from there. And then you got the skate letters, which the skate letters are kind of spread about a bit. Two of them are just on the ramps right by the temple, so that's two easy ones, and the game already shows with the S's, so three letters out of the way, only two left to go. And really, the biggest issue of those is that you have to get all of that shit while also getting the comma letters, while also getting the tape, while also taking care of the scores, which these are pretty big scores. Now, of course, you could go with, you know, leaving the scores to last and then just doing them in one big combo and you're done from there. And that's perfectly valid and that is what you should be doing if you want to really go for all these runs in your first go. It's just the way everything is sprouted about, you are gonna probably have to be lucky to even manage to get this shit working. So yeah. So... I 
I don't have much to say about this mode, honestly. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, there's a gap there I got from getting that letter and... You know, I, I just showed the scant letters and such, but... It's it's just this. It's just what the the school like. For instance, you can't just go to the next level from the pause menu. You can only quit or restart, and you know you don't want to wait out the timer because when that timer is so fucking slow and dumb, it's just not worth it. So I have to quit and go to the classic mode again, then choose my character, then choose the level to you know move on. Otherwise, I gotta wait like about a minute or so to even get the chance to just do the shit. And then you get the unskippable fucking objective completion things and it's just, I don't need that, okay? I don't need to waste my fucking time more on that shit. I just want to get on with it. So, yeah. Outside of that, outside of me jump kind to the next one after completing everything in that manner, like, there's nothing else for me to say about these. Like, later on, some of the scores will get rather big. Like, eventually we'll get to maybe the biggest one. 450,000 points. In, like, Warehouse, I believe. But, outside of that, nothing about these is really notable. Outside of the combo letters. And really, the only reason the combo letters are even notable is because of the fact that in levels like this one, the combo letters are just fucked. And that's not me just exaggerating and being negative or whatever. That's me being truthful. The way they've laid this shit out, with your stats, it's fucked. And you might be thinking, well, there's the other skaters, and the other skaters, you know, would have their own stats. Like, Mindy has her own stats, even though she's not really a skater, I don't think. And, you know, you have, you know, Tony and Alva and, you know, Rodney Mullen and such. They all have their own stats. No, they're not going to be all max stats either. Believe it or not, some of these goals can be really fucking harsh with lower stats than what I've got right now of my skater. And that is going to be very obvious later on uh, for the fucking warehouse comma letters. But for the most part, like... Even with lesser stats, the combo letters here are bullshit because the way they put this out requires you to kind of get lucky with just how much you're going to lay yourself out with the speed and the lineup and the timing and everything. Unless you know what the fuck you're doing, these combo letters suck, okay? These ones just suck. And when you watch me pull this off, you'll see why. Because this took me... Like, one of the longest amount of attempts, it took me fucking five run retries to get this one. And as you saw there, the line for the B and the O didn't make much sense. There is supposedly a grind there, but you don't see the grind. It's there somehow, but it's so high up and it's so weird and awkward. And not only that, but they want you to line up to grind over with the M, but you have no real lineup to actually grind the M. You're gonna hit the fucking wall instead, so... Everything about that was just fucked. And it really doesn't get much better from here, because now, you're in a level where everything is so sprout about, that quite frankly, I don't think it's even possible for you to do fucking normally. Like, not even a joke here. I don't think this is possible to 100% in one run, because everything is so out in the open, you kind of need more than two fucking minutes to really take care of shit here. The skate letters in particular are quite sprung about, and with your max stats character here, you can get the tape by just jumping for it. But if you're doing it for any other character, all I can say is there's a gap that requires you to grind the blue ledges. You know where the ledges are and the least of the fountain? You can grind those ledges. 
Brian the ledge that begins it when you go over to where the ramp was, the blue ramp, and go past it to that passage, jump to the grind, grind it, and then jump across to the other side of the L-shaped grind to where the fountain leads, and you'll get a gap out of that. And by doing that, you will also get the T. And by the way, that T, you have to grind on those flag wires there to get that. That's also a gap, by the way. And the thing is, we would have known some of this shit. We would have known some of these little tricks and locations and such, these little gaps and such, had there been a gap checklist. But there's no fucking gap checklist, so... I don't know what all the locations are, and it's just... I just kind of winged it with a lot of this. And a lot of this winging it isn't exactly the most helpful, honestly. It kind of sucks that this is the best I can do for you when it comes to showing you what to pull off here. Thank god there's this thing though, because it kind of like brings back a bit of your speed in case you go super fucking slow. But, again, the lineup here should be better than this. And also, this entire little circle of grinds here, they're too close together really to make that work out. But yeah, grind these two ledges around here, the two blue ledges, and you'll get the skate tape any other skater. Otherwise, if you got max stat character here, your custom character, full stats and all, just fucking boneless jump for it. It's easier. And then there's the skate letters, which they're so spread about, they go for almost the entire map, really. And as you can see, by the time I really get to them, it's been about a minute already. So, yeah. There's a lot of shit here. And it's too fucking open-ended to really get in one go. The opposite can be said for the van skate park. Because it's such a small area that you can complete everything in one go. Some of the letters are a bit dickish. Uh, for instance, the M is in a place that doesn't quite line up with your grind, with your lineup. So, you know, that kind of sucks. But ultimately... You can still make that shit work out, and it's not really going to be that problematic if you know what you're doing. And, for the most part, you can't complete this in one run. There are levels here, like, you know, Coho's and this level here, that you can get done in one go. Even Warehouse you can get done in one go. Except there's a, another reason behind why, why you won't get fucking Warehouse done in one go. And we'll get to that when we get to that. But, you can't complete that shit in one go. You can't complete downtown in one go. Because all the objectives are so outward, so spread out, that you don't have the time to fucking work with that shit. Hollywood is a bit more fucked uh, on, like, you know, managing the, the fucking one go run. But that one's at least doable. I don't see it being doable downtown unless you get very lucky and end up with like 10 seconds left maybe, like 5 or 10 seconds, maybe. I doubt you'll have that much time. I feel like you'll basically lose all your fucking time by the time you even complete getting the fucking tape at that point, or even complete getting the skate letters, because it's just a fucking mess. And it only really gets worse when we get into uh, San Francisco, because San Fran is legitimately just... It really is amazing to me how much of a middle finger this classic mode kind of is. I guess I got the skate letters, you know, I got that out of the way. However, I missed the tape and I missed the combo letters. I could have gotten that done in this that one run by doing it in a combo, uh, but I didn't know what the tape was, and when it came to the combo letters, I knew for a fact this was going to give me some issue because that M. So, yeah. But there you go. Nailed it. So here's the tape, by the way. Did, it wasn't noticeable to me. It was not noticeable to me at all, but it's right up here. There you go. Got the tape, got all the shit done. Now we can move on to, I believe, San Francisco, which is just gonna suck. It's just gonna suck, guys. 
Because not only the score thing, which is lower by the way, the scores are all over the fucking place, let be honestly. But it's not just that, but it's also the skate letters, and it's also these combo letters, and it's also the tape. The tape is right next to where the E is. And the combo letters require you to get a nice lineup that, um, is not going to be obvious to you from the start. It takes a bit to notice what this game is expecting of you of that shit. And obviously you already know that the best case of, you know, option to get your score here is to do the manhole thing. So, do this, get the combo and all that shit out of the way, easy street from there. At least, now that you've got like five like, goals out of the way, it's easy street in a sense. But now you gotta take care of the letters, which one of the letters is actually rather sneaky because it's an area that looks and feels very repetitive. And also, this is rooftop here, there's a few rooftops here in San Francisco that have no purpose. I don't even think they have any fucking gaps at all. They're just there. And that grind there is buggy too. On that rooftop there, the grind there sucks. It's also all of this little area here that you're noticing that I did not use either. There's a lot of area in these fucking levels that just go largely unused when they could have been, you know, really branched out more, really utilized more. And it's just kind of weird to me how they put the time in to make these maps, but they didn't make you have to use them. In fact, I find it weird how there's hobos here, like those fucking hobos around that have no purpose other than to just be, you know, part of the map, I guess. Even though they're not part of the fucking map. I don't get it. I don't get what the designers of this game, what the game developers, in fact, were really thinking when they made this. It's just a fucking mess. Vicarious Visions legitimately made a fucking mess. And the thing is... I just... I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this game. But I know why this game feels so half-assed, feels so garbage amongst the other GBA Tony Hawk games, and why it feels so lifeless, really. Also, this combo letter here, this whole combo line, do what I do here, and you're fine. You have to traverse like this to get them. It's weird. But it's not the combo letters in the warehouse, which we're about to do it right now. We're about to do the warehouse shit, which... It's not gonna be great. But I understand why Vicarious Visions did not care this much about this version of the game. Because they have the DS version to care about. They don't have to care about the GBA version at all. In fact, this was the last of the GBA games in the main lineup, really. The only GBA game that is left of any Tony Hawk game is fucking Downhill Jam. That's it. Outside of that, everything about the GBA Tony Hawk games is over here. This is the last one. And this one just sucks. But we already know what the better Skateland is. The better Skateland is the DS version. And I deliberately kept myself from doing the DS version first because I wanted to do the GBA version first because that fucking version is what I've always been starting off with when it came to the handheld stuff of these games. No matter what, it's always been the main game and then maybe the fucking PSP version, maybe? Like, the fucking, you know, remix? And then we get into the handheld proper with the Game Boy games. And it's always been the Game Boy game. But this is the first game where the DS came into play. So, you know, after this, I now have to contemplate if I want to give you the GBA version when we, you know, get into fucking, um, Downhill Jam first, or give you the DS version first. I'm probably just gonna give you the GBA version anyway, because 
you know, it's the last one, might as well just kill that off immediately. But, the option is there for me to just do the GBA version last for Downhill Jam. Because at this point, it's all about the DS version. The DS version has the most effort, whereas the GBA is the afterthought. But, you know what else is an afterthought? This fucking combo letter, because these combo letters fucking suck. And I'm telling you this right now, if you plan on doing what I'm doing here with my creative character as any other skater, you're probably not going to make it, and the reason for that is because you are not going to be able to fucking have enough balance to take care of this shit, because the grind line here is so long and so bullshit, it's not even fair. In fact, did you notice the fucking grind here where the sea is? Yeah, I bet you didn't fucking see that, did you? Another invisible grind line. Well, here's what I want you to do. Jump here, the grind up there, and get the O. Then, stick us out your way backwards, and then grind all the way to the B from there, and if you're fucking lucky from there, land it. If you get to the B, if you get to the fucking B, land it. Or else, you are going to bail, and you are going to be upset. And by the way, Here's all the peer gaps, all five of them, because I might as well show off just a few more gaps to just feel a little bit more happy that I'm showing you gaps in some way, you know? There's no point to it, but I might as well show you it just to make you feel better, because there's no gap shuttle, there's no point to the fucking gaps here. No, also there's no point to doing classic mode, because you get nothing from doing this. I'm not joking. I just completed classic mode and I got fucking nothing. In fact, I did this Tony Hawk later on and I got nothing out of that. As far as I can find, you get nothing at all for doing classic mode at all. You can completely forget classic mode exists and nothing changes. So all I'm doing is completing goals for nothing. For fucking nothing. There's no more unlockables in this game. We've all unlocked everything from only story mode. The rest of this is just bullshit. So... That skate led on GBA, everybody. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna fucking say it as the credits roll out right now. This might just be... By the way, here's the classic the credits right now. This might just be... The fucking... Worst of the Tony Hawk GBA games. It's not... Broken. Like Fug 2 was... Like Fug 1 was. It's not a broke-ass mess. It's just, it's nothing. And the thing is, Vicarious Visions could have made this the best GBA game. They could have ended this off in a big fucking finale of a bang. You know, they could have made this one something special, something interesting, because this would be their last GBA game. But they didn't. They chose to just make this nothing game. And that's it. That's all we got. And quite frankly, that's just shit. Also, uh, there's a play this person called Leo that worked with uh, Vicarious Vision, I believe, who died when before this was released, essentially. So. They're kind of, you know, really send Leo off with the creds here and such. I'm not sure the DS version does this too. We have to go and play that next, don't we? Um, but yeah, sad to see that Leo died and this is how he's sent off with honestly one of the most forgettable and nothing Tony Hawk handheld games ever made. But what the fuck else can you do, you know? Like, what can you do at this point? 
But yeah, that was the GBA version, and I'm glad it's over. I'm glad we can move on, because this was not really worth it. This was... It was there. It existed. It probably shouldn't have existed. Vicarious Visions honestly would have probably been better off had they just not made the GBA game, had they just scrapped it entirely, and just released the DS one. Release Skateland on DS, and that's it. Because at the end of the fucking day, this was nothing. This was such a nothing game. And it, in the very same fashion as Wasteland, it took away stuff that worked in the GBA games while keeping shit that didn't. And it was just not really that fun, not memorable, not enjoyable, and ultimately, it's not good. It's just not good. But, Vicarious Visions did not just leave us with a shitty handheld game. They gave us a proper one with the DS version. And the DS version has a lot more going on for itself, with proper 3D renders, I believe, and such. So, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of interesting shit with Skateland. A lot more than this GBA game. And I'll be going for that next time. Because if there's one thing I want to, you know, have the benefit of the doubt for, is to believe that Skateland is better than Wasteland. I want to believe that Skateland is a better game than Wasteland. The GBA game is not that. The DS game should be. So thank you, Leo, and thank you for watching. I'll see you then for the DS game.